Hey everybody, this is Kyle, and I'm talking to you from Brooklyn today on a very windy, blustery winter day. Um, yesterday, I posted a demonstration video of how to do deadlifts. Um, so I just want to talk about a couple key points about that now. When you're approaching uh, deadlifts, get the idea out of your mind that you're bending over and picking something up off the ground. It's, it's a little bit more involved than, okay, it was on the floor, now it's off the floor. What you want to keep uh, focused on is that your hips need to plumb to the ground and your chest needs to stay open, your rib cage needs to stay raised, you need to uh, maintain a lot of isolated straight back posture. So that way, all the work is gonna happen uh, in your lower body. All these major movers that are gonna be responsible for uh, getting the weight off of the ground, for getting your body into a standing prone position, the mechanics is more or less, your hip has to move forward and your shoulders need to move backwards. Now, this is why if you're someone who's learning, and the video is titled Dumbbell Deadlifts for Beginners, the higher off of the ground your weights are, then the easier it's gonna be for you, for you to build a relationship with that balance point and the mechanics of moving your hip forwards and backwards and taking pressure off the front of your foot. Holding on to dumbbells means that you don't have an inclination to send your balance point onto the balls of your feet, on your toes. The dumbbells are gonna wanna pull your body straight down. And it's gonna be easier for you to keep your arms relaxed and straight, so that way you're only really thinking about your grip. So as you watch the video, just notice how it's more like uh, you're, you're negotiating movement at the hip and the back. All right, while well, keeping, keeping that nice, natural S curve of the spine stabilized and isolated, okay? Uh, as you're learning them and you build that relationship with that balance point and you start to build a sort of a cadence, you don't have to go heavier. What you can do is subtract some of those risers and you can make your pull from a deeper point in the ground. To, or cl closer to the floor, all right? So eventually when you're starting, you're gonna have your rib cage up, nice, nice, uh, taut, erect uh, posture, but your hip is gonna be below your knee. And then you're gonna pull from the floor and move the hip forward just like, you know, you will uh, by this time be used to doing. So go ahead, watch the video again, and uh, enjoy. Write me some comments, let me know if this is useful. If there's anything you thought that I left out, tell me that. Uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. And please, 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 tell me what exercises you wanna see done. Bye.